A son is remembering his father tonight after he was hit and killed this morning by an impaired driver on Old Hickory Boulevard in South Nashville. Police say 63 year old Jeffrey Tenzera was the passenger in a car when another driver came through speeding and drove into oncoming traffic. They say the car Tenzera was in was forced off the road. News 4's Marissa Sulik spoke with Tenzera's family today. Marissa, this happened not even 24 hours ago. How is this family holding up? We're definitely going through a lot right now, Marius. I spoke with his son earlier today, and he's heading from Chicago here right now. And he says when he got the call this morning, it was just hours after it happened. And he says he still has a lot of unanswered questions. To know the kind of person Jeffrey Tenzera was, it's best to ask the person with the same name. I will say we do have the same exact birthdays. Um, I was my father's only child. Um, he does have three grandchildren, which are my children. Jeffrey Tenzera Jr. grew up in the Chicagoland area. Uh, my mom and dad were legally uh, divorced when I was six months old, but I still kept uh, a relationship with my father. And while they eventually went their own ways, Tenzera says his father was always part of who he was. We didn't have the closest, closest relationship as a father and son, but we, we kept tabs on each other, if, you, if that makes sense. Tenzera says it's been a couple years since he saw his dad but this isn't the way he planned to say goodbye. Tenzera says his father and his girlfriend were driving home from work early Tuesday morning. Both of them worked for Kroger Groceries. They were both traveling home from work. They got off at 1 a.m. because they're, they're overnight stockers for the facility, and they got off at 1 a.m., and I believe the incident occurred at 1.13. It's an incident police say killed Tenzera's father and left his father's girlfriend with life-threatening injuries in the hospital. Police say Tenzera's father was the passenger in this car when an impaired driver drove into the wrong lane of traffic, killing Jeffrey Tenzera Sr. It's a tough pill to swallow, um, but you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's still my dad. And a father whose son will always be part of him. I'm going to make sure that his name is still remembered uh, moving forward. Now, police say the driver who killed Tenzera did flee the scene. He later checked into Vanderbilt University Medical Center where he did have non-life-threatening injuries, and they say once he is released, he will be charged.